everyone welcome to brick Bolt. today we are dipping our toe into one of the most extensive sci-fi universes ever from the lego designer zeo creations we have the custom built minifig scale ornithopter based on denis villeneuve's film adaptation of dune in this particular world of stark brutalism this eight-winged flyer closely resembles something animalistic like a dragonfly. This is an Atreides version of a Thopter with a body most well suited for scouting and transportation. It's an incredibly versatile craft capable of extreme maneuvers at high speeds, as well as covering vast distances in harsh atmospheres. It's an exceptionally well thought out model with features for both play and handling, yet still manages to hold some excellent angles. Before I get any further into the finer points of this creation, first I'd like to say that if you want Wanted to build the ornithopter for yourself, the instructions can be found at our web store, brickvault.toys. Included with each purchase is the PDF step-by-step -step building guide, a digital parts list for quickly uploading and ordering all the pieces you'll need. All of our models are built in real life, tested for strength. The instructions are tested so they are easy to follow along. And if you wanted to print some stickers for extra detailing, we've also included some pre-sized PNGs for the Atreides insignia as well. The model has instructions for two different wing variations. There is the original helicopter blade design and also a brick built wing variation that's a little easier to source. Buying instructions is a great way to help support what we do here at the channel and it also helps support builders like Zio who has also made some Mario themed builds a bunch of little doggy builds, and several vehicles from Halo that handle extremely well. Click that link in the description below if you'd like to get started, and now let's take a closer look at the Atreides Ornithopter. No one knows for sure when Thopters became a standard form of transportation among the great houses of the Dune universe, but what we do know is that despite their advanced machining, very little technology exists in terms of automatic guidance and computer-assisted controlling. Flying these vehicles comes down to the skills of highly trained pilots who know their flyers inside and out. All right, now let's jump straight into the functions of the model. The first thing here is the wing folding feature. Lots of models have wings that fold or some kind of other transformation feature. The ornithopter might just have the most dramatic looking wing movement out of anything we've built. The width of the creation more than quadruples when it transforms from a landed configuration to something when it's flying. Each wing connects to the body with a large ball joint with full range of articulation and a second clipped on connection adding another axis of movement as well. The longer 6L bar slides through this connector when you move this part of the wing and it looks nice plus it adds some much needed mechanical support and stability. With eight wings it can take some time to finesse all the angles you might want for a landed or flying look but the feature itself is easy and straightforward to manipulate. Now that I think about it let's get the wings folded together because we are putting this in a landed configuration and we get to see some of the most unique landing gear on a ship. This is inspired from a dragonfly at the end of the day, so it might not surprise you to see that there are six feet that fold out below, very much like an insect. They pivot outward and away from the body, then go down to meet the ground. When you look back here, you can see that the two smaller pairs of feet are attached to a ramp in the rear that folds down as well. It's made up of a few different ratcheted connections, so it has the ability to sort of melt into the body when it's folded up. On top of that, there are some supporting bars that fold down from the inside. They act as stoppers on either end of the walkway and help support the weight of the tail plus the folded wings that now all want to rest 
on that thin little walkway. Very much like the 6L bar detailing for the wings, these bars have a good mechanical look to them, and they also serve a very necessary support function for keeping this model in the correct position while landed. Now for the internals of the model. Despite the interesting shape and strong frame, Zio still managed to give a lot of room to the minifigures on the inside. There is a chunk on the top with four wings that is designed to break away, and the details aren't extravagant here, mostly just some spacing for figs, but indeed there is plenty of space to fit several figs or maybe some extra cargo. The top cockpit piece in the front can come off with the two clips, and then you've got plenty of space to fit some figs up front. There's a great amount of detail given to the pilot controls, which can be seen through the front windscreens, which is great. And then one last tiny note on functions here in the film, the screens or the, the glass sides can tilt up to let a pilot in, but the clipped on windscreens here for the Lego build can open horizontally here. And I think it works pretty well for the configuration of the build, even if it isn't completely universe accurate. I did mention earlier that there are two different wing builds for this model. The original design used helicopter blades that might be a bit difficult to source on the Lego market, but there is a version of the model that uses more conventional system bricks that functions just the same. Here you've got some visual understuds on the wings, but the added benefit of this is a slightly more accurate shape for the wing tips. It's just really a matter of preference, and I thought I'd give you a couple of more angles of what this variation of the build looks like. This model was a surprising amount of fun to put together. It's uh, kind of fun messing around with the different wing angles. I was surprised to see how well the designer was able to match both form and function together. It's an incredibly ambitious design for a sci-fi vehicle, and magically it really did come together quite well in LEGO bricks. I'm curious to know what types of other builds you'd like to see created in the future. Are there any other Dune vehicles that are even a feasible attempt in Lego bricks? I'm kind of curious to know. Remember, if you did want to build this for yourself, the instructions can be found at our web store, brickvault.toys. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you enjoy our content, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.